Hello, and welcome. I'm Zander. Here we are. Uh, let me just back up for a second. As you can see, we are on 13W23B. The, uh, basically the, uh, the latest snapshot that there currently is. Uh, okay, all the settings are set. Uh, basically, uh, because of the issue with having lost my previous world, which I'm actually kind of irritated about, because I wasn't done building with that, but, uh, what are you gonna do? We get to play with horses now, so, I guess, we'll just call the world horses, and we'll see what we get. So, basically, I had seen that they've added in, like, hardened clay and stuff, and I... And, uh, one thing you may notice, maybe, is that nothing appears to look like you would imagine it would. And that is because I have updated my texture pack. I have made it... Oop. Oop. What's going on here? I have made it compatible with, uh, what they have released so far up to the point of 1.6. Uh... I don't think I've redone the achievement GUI yet, GUI, but, uh, yeah, I'm not too concerned about that, I never look at it anyhow. Uh, someone did ask me for a download link on one of my previous versions, fairly recently too, and I don't really have a, a place I can put it, so... Feel free, like, I've considered submitting it to Planet Minecraft, but, I mean, it really is just a modified uh, default Minecraft texture pack, minus some things are changed here and there and whatnot. So, ooh, a cave. Uh, I have played around, like I had said once before, with the uh, Feed the Beast 1.5.2 so the click drag thing isn't terribly new to me but it is new-ish I'm still trying to figure out oh what what that why is there so many silverfish this is the regular world I'm not using any mods what is this crap what the hell What the fuck is going on? That is the first time I've actually had, uh... That I've actually, like, found silverfish in the real world. What am I doing? This is not how you make anything. Uh, stone pick... Stone axe. Oops, too far. Stone shovel. I should probably grab a little bit more. I really want to explore this cave bit down here. But I'm going to need food first, because those silverfish kind of jumped me a bit. I was not expecting that. I better be careful. Ooh, an apple. Don't mind if I do. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I kinda need to be careful. Uh, actually, I don't know, I didn't look, what difficulty is my Minecraft on? This will also be my first, uh, encounter, really, there we go, with the, uh, updated skeletons. So, this could be a very death-filled experience. Stop running from me. I also get to play around with hoppers, redstone blocks, coal blocks. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll just stick here for now. Let's see if I can't find any... What is my brightness on? It's on bright. Whoops. Is there any coal? Uh, 
I know it's extremely dark. I'm working on it. But I have found some coal. Ooh, more coal. Okay. For the sake of YouTube, let's just get these torches out here now. There we go. So, I have... Uh, I actually kind of like... Go figure, I like my own texture pack. Uh, but I hadn't been using it, partly because it was a bit of a pain to update, but uh, I've pretty much got a really lazy way to update for new things, and then I can worry about changing their textures later, should I so desire. Like, I don't really have any way to show you now, but... Uh, let's do torches on the right. I mean, I don't really expect to get lost this far down in. I hear zombies. Grab me some iron. Is that it? So, it sounds like they're through here. Slightly right, maybe? Down there? Hello. I appreciate you, zombie, for leading me to this coal and iron. Definitely something I could use this early on. Uh, so, uh, I will mention that one of my goals, because I've decided that having goals is fun. So, the first goal I have planned is I wish to fight the wither. Because I've never actually done that. Like, I did it a little bit on Feed the Beast uh, before I had, like, done recordings of Feed the Beast. And I was playing with my nephew, but uh, I hadn't actually done any proper wither fights. So, I definitely want to do that. That's going to take a little bit of work to build up to, so that's a long term goal. And I definitely want a horse, or possibly a whole farm of horses. Which, uh, one second. I'm gonna make a chest. Now, if you remember my texture pack, you'll know that I had changed the texture of chests to match, basically, wood. And another thing is, if you know anything about the horses, uh, you know there's the donkeys, and they have you can attach the chest to them. And I also made the effort of updating their little chests to match this theme. So, all's well on that front. I kind of, I've played so much Feed the Beast that I actually kind of miss any eye, which is kind of ridiculous. But, uh... I don't really need it. It was nice to have, but I don't need it. What am I doing here? It is slowly approaching night. I am in extreme hills still? Yes. So I could very well find... Possibly more silverfish, but uh, emeralds. Just murder these pigs. Brings me up to 24 pork chops, which means that none of that coal will be wasted. Speaking of coal, I should make more torches. Okay, I'm gonna need more wood for sure. That is a hell of a forest over there. So. How do I want to go about this? Maybe I'll put my house up there? Or maybe in the wall and up there? I'm not sure on that one. Uh, wood. 
need wood. I didn't want to have to try and cut down this whole tree, but I'm going to be honest. It's probably a good idea. So... I seem to have forgotten what I was thinking. So there's always that chance that I wasn't thinking. So... Yeah. This is a bit of a uh, dangerous situation to be in. Because at any moment the leaves could decay out from underneath me and I could fall and not die. So many logs in this tree. Okay, there's one over there. Okay. Is there any more? Well, there's one there. I think that's pretty much all of it. And it's getting to be night time, so let's just go take a venture down into see if I can't find any more cave. What? I must say, it's nice to have the old, uh, gravel texture. I don't like the new one at all. So... Yeah. Hmm. I was expecting more cave, to be honest. Still got my, uh... Spindly little armor graphics. Um, leave that here. Think what I'm going to do. I'll dig down right here. Although I'm going to need a new pick before too long. You know, I don't really need to do this. And this is probably technically a bit of a waste of time. Die, you. Leave me alone. Let's just... Oh. Bastard. Okay, let's grab this. No, not you. Okay. Now pick it up. Grab that. And that.
Nice gold helmet you're wearing there. Holy apples and saplings. Okay. Let's see if there isn't another cave somewhere over around here. Now, I actually probably want to find a plains biome, because to my knowledge, that's where one finds horses. So... I actually want to get out of here. Don't do it. Grab some more logs, because you never know. I might need them. I might not need them. So much water. Although I have to say, it's pretty good release from all my other world generations lately. The last few times I've generated worlds, every single one of them has been in basically a never-ending taiga. Which, let me tell you, gets old. Oh, shit. Oh, committed suicide. I am pro. Hmm. So, that was a bit stupid. Oh, there's a spider chasing me. Now is not the time, spider. Now is not the time. Let's see. Skeleton there. Why are you following me? A lot of skeletons. What is that all about? So, it's about, what, assuming the daylight hours would be from, say, 8 to 8 in Minecraft, that would make the current time probably about 3-ish. Over there's where I committed suicide, like an idiot. This sp spider steer st uh, seriously still following me. I didn't look at you, Enderman, and you can't get me anyhow. I'm in the water. Stuff just seems to have ended up everywhere. Okay. Four, three, two, one, five. Here comes the daylight to save me. Guess I'll head towards the trees I saw earlier. I've noticed that quite commonly forest biomes generally like to border plains biomes. So, of course, though that is also kind of crap logic, to be honest. But uh, I lost my workbench. 
That's lame. Boots. Okay. Let's just boat our way over there. Stupid squid trying to break my boat. Hmm. Chickens. Sheep. Lack of proper world loading. That way. That's where I saw it. Whoa! Thanks, world. Why are you doing this to me? Load! Fucking load! Why am I in, like, gigantic tree world? There's a cave. Any quick iron down here? There is coal. There is a creeper. There's a dead creeper. Iron, iron, iron. There could be iron somewhere. There's plenty of spots. Sandstone. Question is, do I collect this? I mean, it's coal. Ooh, there's some iron. And there's a bat. Go away, bat. I think the last time, I had to actually update the bat texture, which also means that, uh, the last time I used this was before 1.4. I think that's when it was. Iron, come to me. I must have all of the iron. Yes, I realize there's a iron ore block laying there on the ground. So, one of the things I'm going to have to look up is the recipe for the comparator. Because I honestly have no fucking clue what it... what the recipe for it is. Give me all the iron. Oh, is there... Hmm. I'm either under a beach or a desert right now. And it kind of looks like a desert. No, I'm not building with my iron. Ooh, gravel, I'll build with that. I am under a beach. Where the hell did I come from? I came from the south? No. It came from uh, the west. Which means I came from that way. So. 
This kind of looks like it could be a plains. I am currently in ocean biome. No surprise there. Hmm. Now, as far as I know, you find horses in the plains, and making a lead requires a slime ball. Uh, as for saddles, I'm going to have to find a dungeon to find a saddle. And you kind of need a saddle to wear one with any degree of... or use a horse with any degree of usefulness. Extreme hills. Don't tell me I'm back where I started, because that would be kind of pointless and stupid. Or am I just in the world of Extreme Hills and Extreme Hills Edge? Oh. Well, that's a ravine. I could explore that for tons of iron. Although, well, to be honest, I would like a plains biome. Not taiga. Fuck your taiga biomes. I don't like having snow all over top of my everything. God damn it. What do I say? I generate worlds and all I find is snow biomes. And really glitchy loading. Well, there's a jungle there too, which is also not helping. Tiger Hills. Yeah, definitely kind of hilly. That's for sure. I'm gonna be honest, if I see a uh, spawner through one of the slow loading chunks, I'm not going to hesitate to abuse it. So, yeah, just a forewarning on that one. The one th good thing about Taiga is that it always has caves. Tons and tons of caves. I don't know why, but they do. Ah, and here we have found a jungle. Because everybody loves jungles. Fucking jungles. Let's see, I can climb this most of the way up. Yeah, I was concerned about that. Hmm. Hello, Ocelot. Apparently you can actually grab an untamed Ocelot with a leash, and then you can just kind of leash it. Well, I say leash, but I mean a lead. And then you can hook it straight to a fence like that, and then basically give it a name and this that so I don't have to actually tame one and get all the meowing which is actually kinda hilarious cuz I'm wondering how the lead works with their runaway AI that is something I wish to experiment with in the future but for some reason my nose itches let's see I really wish I could see. All I can see is trees. Gigantic fucking trees. I understand. It's a forest. Give me something else. Give me a plains. I don't have, like, large biomes on by accident or something, do I? Because, come on now. This is just overkill. Give me planes. Where am I? That is west, so I'm still not quite there. By there, I mean I'm not circling back around. I am so far away from spawn. So much water. So many squid. 
Why all the squid? Why all the water? Hmm. Hmm. And the world loading is causing slight spikes, but... Don't know. I mean, I probably should install, like, Optifind or something to make chunks load quicker, but it's technically generating them, too. I'm gonna be very disappointed if I keep going this way for fucking ever and don't find anything. Th this is how things turn out for me. I get in a boat, and there's just water. For miles. I don't even understand it. Doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, wait, here's a desert. I think it's a desert. Is it actually a desert? It says desert. Which means... I could find a temple. I could. Chances are, with my luck, I won't. Although a temple would be quite handy. Or a village. Or both. I think asking for both is just a bit greedy, though. Seriously, though, is it too much to ask to just, you know, just not, not ocean? Seriously, just not ocean? All I want is the planes. You know, they're a nice flat area where I can build and they can also spawn horses. I must say, this is rather annoying. Twang. Hmm. So much sand. Yes, I'm, I'm aware it's a desert. They're filled with sand. One of them is wearing leather armor, and the other one is wearing, uh... Yeah, as you can see, I haven't, like, updated the diable areas on the, uh, the armor. The leather armor. I'll get around to that at some point. I didn't really consider it a major concern, so I didn't do it. Okay, seriously? This desert is gigantic. Ooh, a swamp. Well, a swamp is closer to a, uh, plains than a desert. In terms of biome types. That grass over there, it's not dark, it looks normal. Could that be the planes that I'm searching for? Fucking very well could be. If it's right next to a swamp, that would be amazing. That looks like a planes, and this is a swamp. Which means I could have a source of infinite slime balls, as well as somewhere I could find horses. That would be impressive. Okay. Planes, please. Yes, it is a planes. Woo! That is a ravine. It's a good start, too. Got a few trees. 
Uh, I'm not sure quite how the horse spawning algorithm works. I don't know if they're spawned when I explore an area or if they can just randomly spawn while I'm in an area. I uh, haven't looked that up. I do know that I am currently in a plains and that I do not have a house. I do know I'm going to need wheat. I think. I need wheat for breeding horses. This is a cave. Could have placed as any for a uh, emergency shelter. Suck it, zombies. What are you gonna do now? <laughs> okay, so... Really? I only needed one door. I didn't need all the doors. Okay, so I'm going to put the door... Right here. And I'm aware that because I'm playing in hard, the zombies are just going to smash my damn doors down anyhow, but, uh... Whatever. And I'm going to expand and make this house prettier later on, but as it currently stands, I just need somewhere I can be. Okay, so... Slime balls. Seeds. Hook saplings, apples, flint, raw beef, rotten flesh, string, gunpowder, arrows. Should probably place the furnaces. Not there. Okay. Oh, one, two, three. Uh. So, we found a plains next to a cave, and hopefully the zombies don't come in and break down my door. But I'm going to call this good for now. We'll probably pick up not too long after this next time. I'm going to do some a little bit more research into the horses and, uh, yeah, pretty much just the horses and the horse armor. I don't know if you can actually craft the horse armor yet, so who knows? And then I'll be back with you next time. But I'm going to call this good for now, so I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.